there were some issues, substitution during that game. What, what was going on? Um, we were just trying to just match personnel. We uh, Coach Mack loves to match personnel, so if they have uh, two tight ends, one tight end, two backs, one back, um, he always likes to match it. And um, this week, it didn't work out so well. Usually, we're on and off the field very fast and uh, very frequently, and we do it at a timely pace. This week, it just didn't happen. The pace was too fast. We were looking for the call. We didn't get the call, and it was just happening way too fast, and uh, it just didn't match up, so that's what happened. Did the speed, the MSU speed, surprise you guys? Or did you not see that on, on film? Oh, no, no, it definitely, it, was, it wasn't an issue. It was just, um, again, we're trying to match personnel. So they were close to their sideline, people running off, running off. We were trying to figure out what was happening in the box, and people just couldn't make it happen. So. Aaron? Are those calls coming from McDonald, your position coaches? Where are those calls coming from? I was coming from uh, Coach Mack. Ryder? What do you do when you don't? have the call. I mean, how do, how do you play that? Uh, you just play. Like, uh, Coach Max says, check, check uh, whoop, A word. So, uh, yeah, just if you don't get the call, just play play how you, just play your man, play your key, and just do what you got to do. John, two to your left. How tough is it when you think you have a defensive touchdown like uh, Aiden and uh, that it gets wiped off the board to, to just keep on going? Uh, it really didn't matter because um, I felt like going into that game, we knew the rest weren't going to have our backs. So um, I just felt like uh, regardless of if we got a touchdown or not, we were going to get a stop. So that was just our mentality. All the way to the right, Larry. You, how do you go into a game thinking the refs aren't going to have your back? Why, why did you feel that way? Um, I just feel like, I mean, it's Michigan, Michigan State. Nobody's going to. They're going to decide it. It's going to be left up to us. It's not going to be left up to them. So they're not going to call like all of the tic tac stuff. They're going to, I mean, I felt like the knee was up, but probably, it probably wasn't. So I felt like it was going to go our way. It's like going into, it's like when you're an away team playing at home, it's going to favor to the home team most, more, more, than not, more times than not. Time for a few more for Mike. To the left, Zach. I guess, what is it? What have the last 24 hours been like for the team? Is it um, I felt like or? it was just like a time of uh, get everything out because Indiana's coming and they're not gonna matter. It's not gonna matter if we're stuck on Michigan State or not. So um, it was just getting it out for me. I gave myself 48 hours from the game up until now. So um, it's out of my system. I'm just ready to play Indiana. Staying on the left side, Aaron. Mike was just telling us that a player led meeting to call for today. What do you what do you expect? Um, I was expecting the message just to be like uh, we're still in it. Like, uh, it doesn't matter if we lost or not. We've been here before, so it's like not an issue with us. So I'm not really worried about it. I just want everyone, everybody on the team to be on the same page. We do have time for a few more for Mike. Do you have additional questions? Back to the right, Larry. How, how, was, it, how was a player led meeting? Uh, do you guys have like a, a big uh, group text or? Snapchat group, I mean, how, how about 100 people stay connected? Um, I, think, I think we have an offensive group chat and a defense group chat. Basically, the captains communicate, or the, like how Mike, Mikey said, uh, the um, player council communicates, and um, they reciprocate it to everybody in each group chat to make sure everybody gets the picture, everybody gets the message, and uh, everybody's there. Final questions for Mike? Yeah, Mike, you leave? Yes. The, the interceptions, I mean, what? Um, it was just a good play call by Coach Mack. You know, Dax tipped it, and um, thank God I was there for the interception. Um, definitely felt good. Um, just uh, I was just thinking, just don't drop it. And then when I caught it, it was a don't fumble, don't fumble. So that was just my mindset. You weren't thinking, take it to the house, or? Yeah, I don't. I could. I probably could have. I could have like uh, went left. David Ajabu, I think uh, Mike Barrett and a couple of other guys would probably block for me, but I saw two people and I just put my head down and I just like hope for the best. And uh, <laughs> uh, I, got, I got an interception, so I'm not really tripping about it. Okay, thank y'all. Thanks, Mike.